Old Alabama Gardener. Today we're going to be talking about growing beets and then we're going to cook them for a taste test. Beet seeds are really more like a little cluster of seeds and there might be two or three maybe even sometimes more little plants in each of these little clusters. Now when you put the time in to grow plants as we're doing here from seed, you want to be sure you got a plant in each one of these blocks. So I'm putting two seeds in each block and I'll remove the ones that I won't, don't want later. These trays were under grow lights and you can see here that in only five days I've got those seeds up. Now, using my furrowing hoe, I'm going to open up a furrow to uh, receive the plants. Now we need to add some fertilizer, and I'm using Triple 13. That's a balanced fertilizer. Now drag that furrowing hole back through that uh, furrow to mix the fertilizer in with the soil. Now remember how some folks say you cannot transplant beets. But when people say that I can't do something, I usually ask them to get out of the way while I do it. And so here you see me transplanting small beet seedlings from a grow block that I have grown and putting them directly into the garden soil. And so here I am, the whole row is planted, and I'm done with the transplanting. To protect these small seedlings from the deer and the rabbits and the groundhogs, and maybe even some cold weather, I'm going to cover them with a uh, Agribond row cover. So here's our beet row looking good. Tops are, are tall and nice. So let's see if we can find some beets that are large enough to harvest. Okay, this one looks good, so we'll take it. Now this nice beet here is one of those little tiny seedlings that you saw me transplanting uh, back in uh, 24th of February. And here we have another nice beet. Now it is true that not every plant has grown to this size, but we will leave those and they will get to this big. This wire cage that you see I put down there to hold the the uh, row cover off of the plants and so it's still in place but I can take it out now. Now that's three nice beets but I'm going to grab one more. Now I'm going to use a water hose and wash most of the dirt off of them and I'll clean them up a little more in the house. 
And you notice I pulled about three of the large onions. Now when you're going to boil beets, you want to leave about three or four inches of the stems on the beets and leave the roots on also. This helps them to not bleed so badly. Now I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to clean it up a little more and I'm especially going to brush the roots really well because they had a lot of dirt on them and I'm going to leave the roots on them. Now we got four nice beets and I'm going to cook two of them in boiling water and the other two in the microwave. For the boiling water method I'm going to boil these two beets uh, 15 minutes. Okay our 15 minute boiling time is up and I'm going to try to get these peeled by running them under cold water. Here's the color of the water after we finished our boiling. As I slice them, it's feeling like it's a little bit firm, which means it's not completely uh, tender cooked yet. So I'm going to put them in a skillet and heat them a little bit more. So I'm just going to saute these beets a little bit with some butter and a sprinkle of salt. Now let's prepare the two beets that I'm going to cook in the microwave. And this time we are going to cut the stems completely off and the roots completely off. Microwave these beets for six minutes. Now I'm going to hold them under running water while I try to get them peeled. Now let's dice them up and we will compare the two different methods of cooking. First thing we notice, those on the right are the ones that was cooked in water and some of the color has actually bled out of them. The ones on the left was cooked in the microwave. The ones cooked in the microwave have a more deep beet flavor. I call it an earthy flavor. And the ones cooked in water, well, they're a little bit milder in the beet flavor. But that makes sense because part of their flavor was, was uh, washed out during the boiling process. They are both very delicious, but I like the microwave method of cooking even better. Now I can't stop eating them. 